Welcome back to the wonderful world inside your brain. Here's where we left things. We all decide what to believe and how to act based on what we have learned explicitly and on what we have learned implicitly. Explicit learning feeds our prefrontal superpowers of higher cognitive thought and was critical to the survival of our species. Implicit learning feeds the limbic system and tends to emphasize what is best for individual survival in the short term. The limbic system also knows how to cheat. What do I mean by that? Well, in this battle between prefrontal system and limbic system, the prefrontal system relies on evidence, and the limbic system actually hides from our attention information that doesn't align with what we have learned implicitly. Psychologists have a term for this aspect of our behavior. It's called cognitive bias and it results from the limbic system blocking the prefrontal system from considering all of the evidence. Here's a climate-related example of one type of cognitive bias. Researchers studied two groups of people. I'm not telling you yet how these two groups differ. They surveyed both groups and found that in group one, compared to group two, more people agreed that humans were impacting the global climate. Then they had all participants read the same articles about climate change and the role that humans are playing in climate change. Then the same survey was given. After reading the exact same evidence and the exact same arguments, the two groups of people were even more polarized in their different opinions. In other words, they interpreted the same evidence in different ways based on their group membership. In this case, their political affiliation. This is a classic example of a cognitive bias. From a neurobiological perspective, this is the limbic system directing attention to information that strengthens a belief consistent with our group identity and dismissing counter evidence. The prefrontal system wants to focus on the evidence, but the limbic system just wants to make sure we don't get kicked out of our pack. Peer pressure, anyone? Okay, so how can this knowledge about the thoughtful prefrontal system and the shadowy limbic system help us make more informed decisions relevant to global change, or anything for that matter? We know that prioritizing evidence and logic and reason, that is, prioritizing explicit learning, will lead to more informed decisions. And we know that as important as implicit learning is, it also gives us implicit biases and assumptions that live inside our brains, but outside of our awareness. And those implicit biases and assumptions have a powerful influence on what we believe, what we feel, and what we do. So let's reframe the question using a neurobiological perspective. How can we prevent the limbic system and our implicit learning from undermining the work we are trying to do with our prefrontal system? To make full use of our prefrontal powers, we need to examine what we have learned implicitly that might be influencing our decisions. In other words, bring that implicit learning out from the shadows and into our conscious brain. How can we do this? Well, we can start by asking ourselves whether or not we are actually considering all of the evidence, or are we focusing only on evidence approved by our limbic system? It's also important to ask ourselves, why do I believe this? Why am I feeling this? And why did I do that? These questions challenge us to work to identify our implicit biases and assumptions to identify the implicit learning that is understanding what we do. In short, we don't typically make decisions from a purely logical perspective based solely on explicit learning and critical thinking. But if we are aware of this, then we can actually make an effort to bring our implicit biases and assumptions and feelings into consciousness and then use our prefrontal system to examine them. 
we can boldly consider what it is that our shadowy limbic system and its secret implicit learning might be leading us to do. Consider for yourself, what has your limbic system led you to do that your prefrontal system would have told you to avoid? Have you ever knowingly done something that was fun in the short term, but that had a negative impact in the long term? I want to end with this sign from a climate change protest, a call from teen activists for world leaders to, and I quote, act like adults. To me, a neurobiologist, to act like an adult means to use an adult brain. And what is the hallmark of adulthood when it comes to the brain? What is the last part of the brain to finalize its development? That would be the prefrontal region. So act like an adult means to make full use of your prefrontal system, to use reason and logic, to anticipate the distant consequences of what you do or fail to do, to challenge implicit biases, to identify and examine assumptions. And ask yourself what implicitly learned habits of mind are influencing your decisions so that you can consciously decide whether or not to embrace or to replace them. Anything you have learned can be unlearned or corrected, but only if you recognize that you need to do so. The shadowy limbic system and what it learns implicitly isn't always wrong, but when it comes to planning for the future and appreciating the consequences of our actions, we need to count on our prefrontal system. The bottom line is that you will make more informed decisions and more human decisions if you get that big, beautiful prefrontal system working to identify and examine what the limbic system is whispering in your ear. And if you do so, you will be developing a skill set that will serve you well in all aspects of your life.